Chapter 4 Young Man How beautiful you are, my beloved, how beautiful! Your eyes behind your veil are like doves. Your hair falls in waves like a flock of goats frisking down the slopes of Gilead. Your teeth are as white as sheep, newly shorn and washed. They are perfectly matched, not one is missing. Your lips are like a ribbon of scarlet. Oh, how beautiful your mouth! Your cheeks behind your veil are like pomegranate halves, lovely and delicious. Your neck is as stately as the Tower of David, jeweled with the shields of a thousand heroes. Your breasts are like twin fawns of a gazelle, feeding among the lilies. Before the dawn comes and the shadows flee away, I will go to the mountain of myrrh and to the hill of frankincense. You are so beautiful, my beloved, so perfect in every part. Come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Come down from the top of Mount Amena, from Mount Senir and Mount Hermon, where lions have their dens and panthers prowl. You have ravished my heart, my treasure, my bride. I am overcome by one glance of your eyes, by a single bead of your necklace. How sweet is your love, my treasure, my bride. How much better it is than wine. Your perfume is more fragrant than the richest of spices. Your lips, my bride, are as sweet as honey. Yes, honey and cream are under your tongue. The scent of your clothing is like that of the mountains and the cedars of Lebanon. You are like a private garden, my treasure, my bride. You are like a spring that no one else can drink from, a fountain of my own. You are like a lovely orchard bearing precious fruit with the rarest of perfumes, nard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, myrrh and aloes, perfume from every incense tree and every other lovely spice. You are garden fountain, a well of living water as refreshing as the streams from the Lebanon mountains. Young woman, awake, north wind, Come, south wind, blow on my garden and waft its lovely perfume to my lover. Let him come into his garden and eat its choicest fruits.